Show and peace, everybody. I wasn't going to put out a video. But I'm arguing with a lot of people. I think they got it so right. But oh, are they so wrong. Two calendars. Gregorian and Solar. And I just told a friend of mine, Christ was not crucified on a Friday. He was actually crucified on a Wednesday. Now I can collaborate that with Mennonites, Pilgrim Holiness, Amish, Seven Day Adventists, some Catholics, some John Wesley Methodists. But you got two calendars. I am Seven Day Adventist. I don't agree with everything they teach. But they do believe in a Christ that is risen. And the true Sabbath is a Saturday. And Christmas is a pagan holiday. And Christ was born between August and October. There are some Lutherans that will agree with me on that. Wow. Really, I like Seven Day Adventists, but I walk and I talk like the 12 disciples do. Seven Day Adventists is just where I worship, but I don't agree with all the teachings. I walk and talk like the 12 disciples did under Jesus. Black and white on that. Nothing more, nothing less. Where I worship is my business. I've had people call Seven Day Adventists a call. They need to get out of the way. They need to look in the mirror. One person, watch woman, said they were a call. Well, Lisa, why don't you look in the mirror? Gluttony is one of the seven deadly sins. All 280 pounds of you. Eat some more chicken, sister. See, people don't do their homework. I'm not on here to bash any religion. I'm not on here to bash anybody. Even in the Torah. Okay, they acknowledge the virgin birth. Okay. Some Muslims believe my Savior is a good man and a prophet. A lot of them say death to Israel, death to America. But even in the Torah, first five books of the Bible, they say, you know, they agree with the virgin birth. But yet, nobody takes it beyond there. Over, wait, no, 500 people saw Christ ascend on high. And, you know, there's very little wavering in the stories of those 500. So, beyond that, you know, I know about translations losing stuff. I did lousy on, in English in college, but I did very good in English in high school. College was because we had a jerk-ass, left-wing rebel that was high on pot and probably from the era of, um, you know, Woodstock. Okay. And I was breaking free from addiction at the time. But I'm about ready to, I want to put my foot up somebody's ass like my neighbors. Rebels for Christ. You know. I'm dealing with uh, bad lungs. My kidneys are okay, thank God. Bad lungs is my thing. But really, I'm to the point I really don't give a rat's ass anymore. I've seen my colors. Have you seen yours? I wave my flag every day. And I haven't been wrong externally. My personal choices are my personal choices. That's what I learned from. But externally, I haven't been wrong. And what I'm looking at now with the language of math and numbers and twilight stories and twilight symbols, beware. My dad died in 1966. Okay, and my first 
three numbers are 333. Three, three. Okay, three and a half pounds when I was born. Didn't start talking until I was three. And I'm born on the third month, Easter Sunday. You know, March. And numbers are a language, just like music. So I'm looking at a twilight language. Because numbers are a language to me, so are music. So if, you know, September was the story of my dad's death. September 28th and July 4th when he made the declaration that he wanted to die, July 4th, 1966, 6-6, six, six, and take the first two threes of my numbers, that's 666. Six, six. So it tells me something. I don't believe in coincidences. My Aunt Betty said I was anointed in the 90s. Beware, because Jesus is coming back very soon. And when he blows that trumpet, you better be ready. God bless everybody. Shalom, peace. Keep looking up.